name is uh, Prof. Wolf Morstedt. I am the head of the Department uh, of Material Science and Metallurgical Engineering. And we were one of the first departments in the School of Engineering, uh, which had its 60th anniversary in 2016. The metallurgical engineer has a very exciting career. Right from the start when the crust of the earth yields a valuable metal, but this metal is hidden in a lot of rock. Right through the final production of an exciting and state-of-the-art product such as a space shuttle, we are involved. And uh, I can ensure you that as a metallurgical engineer, you will never be bored. Uh, in grade 11, I was exposed to metallurgical engineering and then I wanted to study it. And then I applied for it at the University of Pretoria and I got accepted. I would say metallurgical engineering um, is an interesting field. Um, metallurgy is not just a given, there's not just one solution uh, for the problems you come across. We are always trying to come up with some creative solutions. Everything that we sit on, work with, touch, drive with is metallurgical products. The history of the Anglo-American chain pyrometallurgy started in 2009. We assist the industry mainly through research projects, uh, which we negotiate with our industry partners. The Industrial Metals and Minerals Research Institute originated from a mega company called ISCO, which was a collection of mining and steel businesses. Emory moved to the University of Pretoria in 2000 when the steel business merged with ArcelorMittal, the largest steel company in the world. Minerals processing is the physical separation of the valuable mineral from the gang material, and with gang material I mean the valueless material in the rocks. It started as a focus point to get people together and essentially in that way reach out to the industry, train people to play a leading role in the industry. My interest is in hydrometallurgy. And hydrometallurgy is the art of extracting metals from low concentrations uh, in ores. And so we must devise methods to actually purify, extract the metal, and then actually produce a product that we can sell. I think that women can work in this environment. I never feel um, intimidated or anything because everything is worked out such that you do feel safe to ensure that women feel comfortable and they are able to do their job to the best of their abilities. Um, this is definitely a place for women. And I must say I'm very proud of our alumni. Um, they're all doing very well and there's no limitations whether you're a man or a woman. I think uh, metallurgical engineers is important, not for South Africa only, but in the international environment where we work. Because traditionally, metallurgical engineers would design cost-effective solutions for their customers. The modern approach has added a social ethical component to metallurgical engineering. And that is that you also have to make sure that your products, your byproducts, and the discharge from, the, from your processes are environmental free. The engineers that we were getting from Tux could immediately walk into a current job and do the industrial work. My future plans is to start a PhD degree here at the University of Pretoria. And then the reason of I want to do something that's relevant to industry, something that can be implemented in an industrial application. Mm -hmm.